Hi, this is Bruce the Accounting Guy from the College of Southern Maryland. I'm going to be your instructor this semester in Principles of Accounting 1. Hopefully, you have gotten your welcome letter from me. If you didn't get a welcome letter from me, it's because you signed on eh, probably prior, just prior to the course opening up. So you need to go back to the opening set of icons in WebCT and click on the welcome letter, run it off, and read it in detail. It basically will tell you everything that I'm giving you today and even more. It will also help you navigate around and show you all the various icons and tell you their purpose uh, and just make it easier to just basically run through the course. All right, I know that you know how to get into WebCT because you're viewing me right now. Again, before you move on though, go back and get your Go back to the opening page of our online course and click on the syllabus, run it off. That's a very important document, so you should run it off. The syllabus will give you the textbook that you need to go out and purchase, and it gives you a week-by-week -week schedule, which means that's what you should be doing each week. It will also show when we take all of our exams, and I'll come to all that real soon in a few minutes. Okay? Now, what do you need to know about this course to navigate around? As I said, the welcome letter will give you the majority, will give you all that information, but I want to today give you a few important things as to how to run through the course. One thing to get started, you're going to start on chapter one. I'd open up my textbook to chapter one, and I'd follow along with my textbook the information that I pull by opening up my PowerPoint presentation. There's a PowerPoint presentation for every chapter. So, I open up my PowerPoint presentation, I start going through that, and I use my textbook to supplement it. And I make sure I run through the entire chapter. Additionally, there's another icon out there called Chapter Attachments. What you need to do is open up the chapter attachments for each chapter. When you have, if, now, not all chapters have chapter attachments, but the majority of them do. If I give you a chapter attachment for that chapter, it's in Microsoft Word, open it up, and read it. Again, it doesn't cover the chapter in full, but the purpose of it is, is to tell you what I'm focusing on, or what I want you to focus on. And it also tries to explain in just a little bit simpler English than what the textbook does, you know, some of the things that you really need to know. What I usually put in the attachment are, what are, are uh, answers to questions students have asked in the past, or uh, I cover material that I know that has been difficult in that chapter for students in the past. Additionally, for every chapter, I have a video or videos. The video or videos are very important to you. If you don't view the video or videos for each chapter, it's like not coming to class. So you need to do that. You need to open every single one of them. Another thing that I want you to know is, is that if you get any of these attachments or chapters or any of the files, you can't get them to open. Uh, please don't contact me because I'm not a computer guru. <clears throat> what you need to do is be sitting at your desk during their, the hours of the help desk at the College of Southern Maryland. Call the College of Southern Maryland, La Plata campus, ask for the help desk, tell them you're a web student, tell them the problems that you're having, and they're supposed to help you to get those files open. The majority of the, of the time, it is my understanding, that the reason that files don't tend to get open is because either A, you don't have the right software or up-to-date software, or B, it has to do with some sort of pop-up um, problem and you don't have your pop-ups set properly to accept a lot of the um, files that we have because this is all done, majority of it's done through pop-ups. So make sure you call that help desk if you have a problem getting uh, any of those items open. So again, to review real quick, just to get through a chapter, you have your textbook, you have a PowerPoint presentation, which I do suggest that you download to your computer once you've opened it up so you don't have to keep coming back to WebCT. You use the chapter attachments and you use the videos. So I've given you four different types of material to get you, you know, four different types of uh, items to get you through all that material. Um, once you've done that, again, if you have questions, you know you should feel free to contact me via telephone. That information's on the syllabus. Or email me through WebCT. I check my WebCT numerous times during the day and I'm very quick to getting back. Uh, however, if you do contact me via email, please make sure that you do it through WebCT and not the regular college email because that tells me you're a web student. Alright, once you've done that, take the quiz for the chapter. There's a chapter 
quiz for each chapter. And again, the quiz is not for a grade as it says on your syllabus, but <clears throat> the idea behind the quiz is to show you if you understand the course content and it gives you a real good idea of what the questions are going to be like on the exam for me. They're very similar. Once you've done the quiz, go do your homework. There'll be, there's another icon out there that you need to click on that will explain how the homework actually works. And when I say that, we have another, there'll be another, um, that we're using Wiley Plus. It's self-graded homework. Um, as you go through it, a number of times it starts to give you the answers. You'll get three tries to do the homework each time. If you can get it done the first time, you get full credit. There is a grade for homework as shown on the syllabus. Um, when you click on that icon for Wiley Plus, it's a Word document that explains how the entire thing works. So that you need to pull down and, um, and read in great detail. And then if you have a question or something you don't understand, email me. I'll, I'll, you know, I can answer any questions that you have. And once you've done the homework, you're done with the chapter and you can move on to the next chapter. So the final thing that we have now to cover is exams. There are four exams. One is a take home. I will email that to you, uh, the, the exam week. And the other three exams, you must come in to a college campus, Prince Frederick, Leonardtown, or of course La Plata, and take the exam. They're proctored. That means you will have to show your ID, and you must take them within exam week. As explained in my opening letter, I explained all that again, but you know, I mean to you there, but you must take the exam on site and you must take it within exam week. If you do not take it within exam week, you will have a zero. But I'll remind you about that throughout the, so, the semester. If you're off if you're out of the area, I've had students as far as California take the uh, course, then what you need to do is it says in my welcome letter, is, is I tell you who to contact in the testing and they'll play the testing center. They will help you set up a proctored situation out wherever you may be. If you're out in Nebraska, then what you really need to do is find a community college or a college with a testing center that's willing to do that. Uh, if you can't do that, then you are not going to be able to take the course, but I've never had a student that's had a problem finding a proctored situation. Um, of course, our testing center will contact that testing center and verify how the exam is going to be taken. So you can't just have a friend give you the exam and say they proctored it. All three of the proctored exams are closed book, no notes. Okay, I do want to make that very clear. Um, so there's four exams in your homework and they constitute your grade as shown on the syllabus and it shows how, how it will work. Uh, the, and again, the one thing I want to remind you about is please, please don't procrastinate in this course. Follow the syllabus. It shows you week by week. It gives you all the dates as to what you should be doing and when you should take the exam. Last of all, I'd like to again thank you and I mean welcome you into the course. Thank you for taking the course and tell you that if you ever have any concerns or, or need any questions answered, please feel free to contact me. The best way to do it is through email though and um, I always get back to my students promptly. So for now, Bye from Bruce the Accounting Guy here at the College of Southern Maryland.